Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Do not do it, folks. Do not. I repeat, do not spend your money out of state frivolously before doing the due diligence, right? Especially, especially you Texans. I know you guys are dealing with Californication right now, right? Texans are in a bit of a panic. It appears that Texas is being overrun by those dirty piece of crap liberals coming from California, which is weird because they're fleeing the extreme socialism, and now they're Californicizing Californicizing? Yeah, that's a word. They're doing that to Texas, and a lot of people in Texas are scared, right? Y'all saw the show we just put out recently about, uh, what was it? It was uh, da, 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 da. Dallas is trying to outlaw uh, investment buyers, right? Because the market's hot. That's California right removal 101, right? It's crazy, right? So a lot of you guys in Texas are like, whoa, dude, I got to get out of here. I got to invest. I find cheaper real estate in places like Cleveland, Ohio. Maybe I should just spend my money there. And that, folks, is what my man Matt is doing. And Matt, you sent me this property. And you know, you know not to spend your money out of state in Cleveland until you talk to me. But not everybody else does. So I want everybody else to continue paying attention to your show right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you invest in real estate. And my man, Matt, you sent me this deal uh, it looks nice, right? We're trying to build you a nice portfolio in Cleveland. You're escaping the socialism that is uh, slowly but surely infiltrating the great, amazing state of Texas. It scares me uh, that an amazing state such as Texas is dealing with this right now, but Godspeed, good brother. But yeah, so you're out here, and I'm building you a portfolio, and you dig this one, okay? And it, it looks pretty good, right? This is a classic-looking Cleveland duplex. It's already got the reno you want. Like, it's nothing fancy, nothing special, but it's like, you know, the neutral grays. Like, this is what you want, right? So, like, as far as the inside, nothing nothing out of the ordinary, right? You got a pretty new hot water tank here. Nice new furnace there. Updated electrical, right? So the bones uh, would be good on this one, right? But the issue we... And the price is amazing, right? The price is 83000 right? But the issue we run into, Matt, is the uh, locale, man. Uh, 3769 East 154th, Cleveland 44128. Uh, it's been on the market 75 days. And you know, brother, stuff out here like, you know, C-ish type grade duplexes out here, multi-families, bro. They're dropping for like 120 uh, in a very short amount of time. So this has been on the market almost three months, 40K cheaper than that. Uh, you got to know there's going to be a catch, brother. And the catch on this one is it's like hardcore ghetto. I mean, <laughs> it's just straight up the hood, bro. Uh, like, <clears throat> here's the house, right? You got the house. Then uh, you just go up, like, right down the block. You got vacant house, vacant house, vacant house. And, I mean, not even vacant houses, actually. Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. Uh, I mean, you just got tear downs everywhere. Tear down. Uh, like, is this, like, the worst? There's another tear down. This is not, like, the worst neighborhood I I in Cleveland, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty sketchy, bro, uh, to be real with you. Like, you, you just got, like, a ton of blight. You go the other way. Tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down, tear down. That's looks like that's about it. There's another one up in that corner, but like I said, it's not the worst. The worst. There's another tear down right there. The worst neighborhood in Cleveland. Um, but I think it would probably be a risk for you. Uh, too high of a risk to drop 83k on this. I mean. Is that even the right price? Dude, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Like, when you're in the super distressed neighborhoods, bro, it could be a crapshoot, man. Like, a lot of times you're dealing with stuff that just won't sell or it sells to a completely uneducated buyer who's got no idea what they're doing. And then it'll sell, like, in a totally distressed fashion for, like, 10 k 
with you and me and the portfolio we've been building, uh, this just wouldn't fit, right? It's just too risky. Uh, the ability uh, for us to collect rent for you on a reasonable, uh, consistent basis, it's, it's really just not there here. I mean, to be honest with you, I actually probably wouldn't even take this on as a management uh, account. It would just be too much work for my team, uh, too difficult. Like, this is 2022, bro. There is a major shortage uh of labor right we're having a huge shortage of labor in this country and in the property management business it's already a high turnover business construction and renovation services when you start sending your team into areas like this and like this little pocket around this property again not the worst there's definitely worse but like to get there you gotta go through it all and you know, it's just really hard to get landscapers, uh, construction guys to work these kind of neighborhoods without quitting all the time. You see that catch? That was nice. Uh, it, it would just be a mess, right? And it's just not its not profitable for a property management company. So you're not going to get uh, a sophisticated property management company like mine to take on the account. A couple of the other big companies in the area, they probably wouldn't take on the account either. Uh, so that just makes it even more hard for you to consistently earn uh, a profit on this, which is why it's like 40k less than a lot of the stuff you've been looking at and we've had some success with. So in my opinion, I think it would be a mistake for you to buy this. Uh, this would be something that I would say local guy or gal uh, needs to be somebody who's in the business, right? Whether they're a contractor themselves or they're a, uh, an eviction mover, like the dude that does the move outs at our Cleveland evictions, he's been doing them for like nine years for us now. In Cleveland, you have to get court appointed movers uh, to come in and sub the work for you of actually removing people when you evict them, right? So when you guys see all those live eviction shows on uh, the Tennis from Hell show, right? Uh, the crew of guys not wearing Holton Wise uniforms. That's not our company. That's a separate company. There's like a list of uh, court appointed movers and such. Uh, that you can utilize. The actual management company is not allowed to touch the tenant's belongings. So all those dudes throwing all the crap in the street are not technically holding wise employees, although I've been uh, doing business with those guys and paying those guys to do all of our evictions for nine, ten years now. Um, that guy, he buys properties in like the hardcore ghetto, but like by day he throws motherfuckers out of their houses. Like, and I, you know, we talk about throwing motherfuckers out of their houses a lot in the eviction shows, but like he physically is pers like he's physically like physically throwing motherfuckers out like with his own bare hands, right? And he's got the crew, uh, and he's always in these neighborhoods. He's watching them like a hawk, uh, you know. So he's gonna have a lot of costs that somebody like you out of state is not gonna have, right? Because uh, you gotta either do it yourself or pay people to do it. And the people that are sophisticated in this business are usually shying away from this type of stuff. So I, I just think for you, brother, uh, it would be a mistake to add this to your portfolio. The stuff we've been building for you thus far, I think is going to work very well. Uh, this would be a bad move. Let's move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.